Right, and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We're playing the Legacy Pack and we're in mission 4 of the second run. It is time to save Pirate DJ something, the guy who's making all the noise, standing right here. And if we can extract his uh, bodyguards, it says bodyguards, so I assume it's um, two of them, we get a big fat bonus of I think 50,000 if we're going to finish this mission so I'm eager to do that uh, let's uh, recap our team real quick we got two new classes um, the Templar and the Skirmisher I uh, got John Bradford here as an assault got a sniper who's focusing on pistols uh, we got a specialist and uh, last but not least we got goddess aka Amani uh, Mostafa who is a psi operative she is our latest addition to the team I think we started uh, in concealment that's great because it offers us the, uh, the opportunity to Heading stay to concealed let's take a look at what we are dealing with again same strategy as always we're aggressively pushing forward at the beginning and then gradually slowing down. As for our sniper, no, we're not taking John Bradford here. Our sniper, luckily, has grappling suits. Grappling. That'll give us the necessary extra movement that we're looking for. Time. Taking the high ground here. Let's do the same with uh, Bradford because there is really no disadvantage in staying in high ground and then jumping down. This is just saving us some time. Bradford, on the other hand, will probably need to move out of uh, this building on the other side. So we're taking him to the window already. We're taking the skirmisher again, high ground option. Whoever can grapple should use it I take a new approach. because it's such an efficient way of um, of moving forward. It's really good. I like it. A great distance. Yeah, and for the rest, let us definitely <clears throat> move as far as we can without without breaking anything and revealing ourselves and there we go got a nice solid setup here Despite being the product of advanced you know the DJ is on the other side Apparently our Might as well take Bradford, move down. We saw the first like enemy over here. Well, that's not only one down, enemy, no we're, we're seeing a try. lot of enemies. But that's okay. I'm not sure how the that on the other hand is rather out, intense we managed to rescue one might as well want to get into position for for these guys so it is to our it. Templar I can see our objective yeah we're not going to fight them That's our but guy. yet the pirate of the airwaves himself. Getting into full cover here. And I think we're fine. Ready. Moving on target location. I'm on it. Roger. I've got my eyes on it. Moving to Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. All right. So it's very likely that we're going to fight that pack first. Let's try to pull only one pack and one pack only. Blah, 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 bark, bark, bark. Yeah, that's you, admin guy. 
That's what you sound like out there. Yeah, that's so what all you have by standing here, like yeah, we're only seeing original. these guys, okay. So if we were to move back, we would still see all of them. If we were moved to here, we wouldn't see all of them. Actually, we would only see zero of them, uh, zero, of, uh, zero of them from their trust. side. It's in the open. And I'm wondering if we would stand in the open whilst triggering the enemies, that wouldn't be good. So I just decided I to not command. engage this round. Instead what we're going to do is we're taking solid flanking positions. Like literally over here, making sure that we only see one pack and one pack only. Interesting. We the DJ, but now we had to babysit him until we got to the evac point. Well, we're still hidden, uh, technically, so that's positive. I would say we're overwatching because I do have the feeling that we're going to be spotted out very soon. Overwatch. He's also concealed. Well, that's not bad. Let's put him there and hunker down. Even his bodyguards are concealed. That's very interesting. So these guys would be our first target, naturally. That's just such a great Overwatch trap. Normally, I don't like Overwatch traps all too much. But I think we can make an ex exception this time. So let's Overwatch. If we were to lob a grenade down there... Huh. That here could be an awesome starting point. I mean, that would deal 9 damage, shred 2 armor. And we would probably be in a very good position. So that's one option to start the encounter. I'm not saying it's the only one, but it's a good one. Um, the other option is starting with our with our Templar, and then following up with the rest of the team. That's probably the best option, to be honest. We're not ending our turn. And we're just throwing a grenade in. Yeah, let's 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 do this. Just need to find the right angle. Because magically he can throw through the wall. There we go. Threw it right through the wall. Okay, nice one. I love it. By the way, just for interest, uh, just out of interest, we could have also thrown the gas grenade, but I'll probably keep that for the mutant pack. 
Um, it's interesting the bodyguard even can help to take a shot. And does so quite well. I like it. Need to be a bit careful not to trigger the uh, berserks there. So I wouldn't want to run out. But that here sounds like a very reasonable approach. But probably not going to kill it right away. Unless we're critting, but that's only a 10% chance. However, we can parry afterwards and this guy probably is not going to do anything other than shielding up. So we could parry if necessary. Um, yeah, I would like to move over here, take the opportunity to really get a flanking shot out there. Probably would even take the Advent Priest, to be honest. Interesting, we can't even hit anyone downstairs. That is indeed very interesting. Disappointing, because I thought we can deal more damage. 100% shot. I'm not going to waste lightning hands. We will probably need it next turn. We could take out the priest with the stasis. Alternatively, soul fire either of these guys to death. Which kind of means we need to get the pur purifier down. Down for one more attack, and then we. I'm pretty sure we can't kill the priest with one shot unless we are. No, we can't crit with the soul fire. So, question is shall we try to stasis the priest? I'd like to keep the cooldown actually for the, um, for the berserks because they have so much hit points. But given everything that just happened, uh, currently we're still uninjured, and I want to keep it that way, which means we're going for stasis here, and then I'll just soul fire this guy. My and kill mind him. is my weapon. Good enough. Killing them early also gives us the bonus. We already got 3000 bonus for early bird um, rescue. I think for some strange reason we triggered these guys. It's okay. Put a lid on it, buddy. 
So taking the extra shot, which brings him down to 5 hit points. The reason why I wanted to do this is we cannot reach the enemy's fire uh, with our Templar. And I want to give him something to do, i.e. get this guy into sustenance. There is another wonderful, uh, wonderful force which we can get. Again, grappling for really, really nice, solid movement. We could move up to here or here. This here, the full cover high ground is probably really, really good, but also dangerous at the same time because we're getting close to, uh, close to the enemies. Um, Flashbang wouldn't be the worst because uh, that prevents most uh, of the enemies, specifically the Berserks, from just rushing in and attacking. So let's consider that for a second. Alright, consideration finalized. We're taking high ground plus full cover. And I'll still decide whether or not we need the flashbang. TBD. Okay, we can take shots. Next up, our option with the shredder gun. Respectively, our general option with our Psy operative. I like the gas grenade idea. It's probably not going to fly though. Shredder gun is not too bad. I mean, it takes away a lot of the enemy's options. Uh, not the best hit though. We could hit three. I'd be all up, uh, all up for it. Let's get rid of cover and shred this guy. So this here could be a one shot, most likely is. Minimum damage. Very unfortunate. I'm going. Moving into full cover. You know, that's one root and down. This pack is pretty beefy. Cover, hunker down. Yeah, that's somewhat still defense and missing weapon range. Okay. Interesting. I mean, we could go up here, which is probably not a bad idea. And still take the shot. 
but before we do so I would say let's get rid of the cover and try to injure them as much as possible oh we just killed one of them interesting shredder gun is really good So this here is most likely not going to pull anything else. I don't want to take that. I didn't want to take like the full frontier positions because this could lead to pulling extra enemies. Burning is great. Reduces his chance to come to us and we're just flashbanging them for reduced movement and reduction in hit chance. This guy will use his stasis or mind control. I am called, called to serve them. Incoming over here. Well, they are still pretty fast. They are still pretty fast. Alright, redeploying ourselves. I want to hit this Advent Priest to break the mind control. Target eliminated. Thank you. Moving on to this guy. now in the center of our attention. Great. I love burning. It's a nice little extra damage. Moving out. Casually pulling the other pack. Like it's nothing. Pretending it was all just part of the plan. Of course it wasn't. Somewhere far enough away so that the chrysalids can't just like overrun us. because I want her to tank it. Mm. That's most likely not going to be enough to kill it. Uh. Alright, so... We are going to do is we could finish this guy and then somewhat I mean we got 
Blade Storm. That isn't too bad against them, but they can still hit, so I suppose it's difficult regardless. They are too close, they would reach they would reach us. So let's do one thing after the other. We're killing this guy. I am with you. We're inspiring Sergeant to Bradford. Basically handing over the turn to him. A little run gun action. Getting into full cover, so they need to jump up here. And I would like to shoot this guy because we, we can't kill it, but if it jumps up and it's, um, it's hurt already, then our sword from from Blade uh, Storm will kill it. Alternatively, Tail and Round's crit and it's just killing itself. By the way, great option for a hair trigger now, Redford. Could certainly pull it off. It's going to be a parry here. I don't know, the chrysalids just try to disappear apparently. I'm the focus of their attack. That's very strange. I'm wondering where the chrysalids have gone. So far, so good. Extract to the desi designated evac zone. Well, that shouldn't be an issue. Bradford continues his uh, absolute rampage. This time with a hair trigger, very nice. Reloading. I think we're just going to kill him and call it quits. By the way, it's burning, so it's going to die next next turn. Regardless, but we, of course, don't want to wait. We're taking the safe route. I'm on it. Good to go. Okay, slowly but surely moving. I think we killed almost all of uh, the enemies, so I'm not sure if there are even enemies left. Well, there is alien activity, so the answer is yes, there will be enemies. Yeah, that was a feeling that we have a new This though, this was something else. I mean, if they could be fish, they could be anything, right? Where does it end? Yeah. 
ends with a nice little set of tail and rounds. As we're simply gunning the sky down. Got it covered. On the move. Hide back. Will do. All right. Okay. Roger that. Standing next to the car. Oh yeah, a couple more chrysalids, that's nice. little chrysalids in will make any difference. Try that again. Run it dry. Yes, Commander. I must focus my strike. Alright, let's get on top of this car. Lightning hands on one of the chrysalids, almost killing it. Killing the other one. Offer a couple more enemies here. Copy that. Moving to if every single little chrysalid gives already 1000 uh, score, then that's going to be easy. So everyone's moving towards the exit zone. Open for business. Ten four. Advancing quickly. Overwatch. DJ was safe, but the rest of the squad and I were still on the ground. Yeah. Oh, it calm your tits, uh, Bradford. We're going to finish that mission. Easy peasy. Don't worry. Let's 
2,000 bonus experience right there. Redford's moving in like a boss. There we go, spotted him out. As I was saying, we're almost done. Come get them. Are we still facing enemy contact? Come on, one more turn. There are no more aliens left over. Fast as I can. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Packing it in. Disengaging. Heading home. Evac confirmed. Packing it in. Evacuating the area. All right, easy peasy. It ended up being easier than it looked. We escaped with the DJ and there was no sign of advent in pursuit. Not sure where we got the bonus points for saving the bodyguards. Our new DJ friend had an interesting collection of scavenged tech and spare parts in his collection. We took the best stuff and left behind everything else. So we already got the grenades, this here would upgrade the grenades even further, and this will directly jump to advanced uh, versions of uh, the PCSs, which I think we're going to take. Face off, very nice ability, deep focus, very nice ability, reflect, very nice ability, shoulder step also not bad. <coughs> Comet presence, very good ability. Allows us to shift um, uh, action units from her to someone else. And Fortress is anyways really, really good. So yeah, we caught up a little bit. Uh, the XP is back at the mission progress. So way to go, way to go. Three more missions, guys. Let's go. After all that work to rescue this guy, not a day later he somehow thought it would be a good idea to wander off in search of his old record collection or something. I almost lost it that day. I was about ready to just leave him to the chrysalids. Fortunately, he hadn't managed to get very far, and we put a leash on him before the aliens could. <laughs> this DJ sounds like an interesting guy. So, DJ had set up his equipment in an old utility building that the locals built their settlement around. It almost felt safe at first, but the signal there must have been stronger, because the chrysalids were overrunning the entire area. Well, if it's just chrysalids, then we're, then we're golden. That's easy. Um, we're looking at uh, sixty uh, or at fifty-six thousand experience. 
which is nothing to sneeze at, so we could... I don't know if we could uh, could get to 200k, but I mean, if we play our cards right, maybe 190, 195 isn't the worst start, so we then still have two more missions afterwards. That's okay. All right, uh, that's where this mesh, uh, mission ends, and where we're going to... Um, start the next mission thank you for watching if you enjoyed it give me a comment down below what you think about dj and his aptitude to run away and see you in the next mission bye bye